Well, big week grace, um, make a football fans debut and then help the Phoenix get a 5-0 win. Um, yeah, you must have been pretty, pretty wrapped. Yeah, I was stoked. It was a really good week, a really long week, um, quite tiring, but um, it was really, really good. I was honoured to be obviously a part of the Ferns camp and to get my debut was huge. I was very grateful for it um, and to come back and to get the three points that I believe we deserved um, was, yeah, amazing. Yeah, and that mentioned after the game you might have got a memento from Rose Lavelle to get her shirt after one of the games. Yeah, I did get her shirt and I got home um, to Wellington and um, me and the flat were just like looking at it and we were like, wow. So, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she's an incredible player, so I was grateful to get her shirt. Yeah, because Nat mentioned, um, you know, with the football fans they had to back up, she sort of said, well, you know, you've shown that you can play against a player like that. Uh, go show what you can kind of do against Canberra. Was that sort of the message from, from her? Um, yeah, you know, she was just like, do what you can. Obviously, it was um, quite a long week, so she was like, come back and give her your all. Um, and yeah, I think all the girls did that. Um, so even the ones that you know weren't at the camp, they pushed us to um, get through the game. So yeah, it was a huge effort by everyone. Because is there a way that um, you know playing against the US uh, does that sort of free you up in a way to play with more confidence when you then back up for your club? Like, yeah, how did you find then you know translating playing against such a tough tough opposition against the, playing against Canberra? Yeah, I think um, the USA are an amazing team. So um, it was incredible to challenge myself against you know some of the best players in the world. Um, and, you know, I think every game's challenging, whether it's, you know, in this league or playing for the national team. So I think, um, but obviously it gives you, you know, the confidence. Uh, I just tried to play how I play in um, every game that I do. So, um, yeah, you know, it was a good experience and I hope that I can take that experience out for the rest of the league. And we saw Betsy play, um, you know, ahead of you and Chloe. Why do you think that sort of made the team click so well with, with her playing in a more advanced role? Um, I think Betsy, you know, she loves to make those um, high runs and so does Chloe. So I think to be able to have, I think our midfield's quite like, we all just kind of switch around and kind of, you know, like move around and play in each other's positions. So I think having us three in there, having Betsy up the top to start with, I think was really good. Um, and, you know, me and Chloe are still able to play those um, balls in behind and make those runs in behind too because, you know, Betsy can stay and hold. So, yeah, I think it's good having that fluidity around the team. Yeah, just a final one, like how naked were you when you like, sort of signalled her to come off? Or you were starting to, to feel a bit tired after two games? Yeah, I was quite tired, but... Um, I saw, you know, we were three 0 up, and I was like, "Nat, like, I was like, I need to come off." I was like, um, "But you know, I gave all I could for that fifty or so minutes, and I knew that there were fresh legs on the bench that could go do a better job than me being half legged on the field." So, yeah. Just back to your Ferns debut, Grace. When did you have any inclination before the game that you might be used off the bench, or did that not become apparent until yet came? sort of said, hey, you're going on. Yeah, I had no idea. Um, and I was, I was quite chill, like I was like, oh, you know, I, I think I turned up to cap match day minus one um, and barely even trained because we just traveled. So I think we did the warm up and then sat out and watched the rest of it. So I was like, oh, you know, I won't get on. So I was <laughs> quite calm. Um, and then I had to go warm up and then um, Duncan, you know, yells at me and he's like, you're going on in three minutes. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I was like, um, I was like, are you kidding? But um, no, nah, I was obviously, very shocked but also very grateful to be given that opportunity and just kind of she just told me to go out there and just play my game and um, stay connected with Betsy so I was just following Betsy around which was nice because I play with her obviously in clubs so it was just nice to get on with her. And um, same deal again you got on up at Eden Park as well so did you um, at that time did you think oh I've done this all before I'm an old, old hand at it now I'm you know I'm not my debut anymore. Um, yeah like I, I don't think I never expected to play 45 against um, the USA and I was like oh, I could probably do 20 again but 45 I was like that's a lot against Roosevelt um, <laughs> but I was you know obviously again grateful for the opportunity and I'll be grateful for any opportunity I get so, and grab it with both hands so yeah I just was like just gonna go out there and try help the team as much as I can. And how did you get that shirt? How, how does it work? Like, <laughs> did you because I, I, I know a couple of the guys when they went to the World Cup were very, you know, back in 2010, were very keen on getting certain players. But how did it come to pass that you got 
Rose Laval, who captained the team that day. How did you, how'd you get her shirt? Um, I said going into the um, camp, I was like, if I could swap shirts with anyone, it would be Rose Laval. And um, I was actually walking inside the change room because we could, we basically had to leave straight after the game to the airport. And when I was walking in, um, she was kind of walking out, and I kind of like had a moment. And I was like, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it now. So, <laughs> so like I turned and I kind of like chased her down the thing, and I was like, can I have your shirt? Like I didn't know if we could swap shirts either, but I was like. I'll buy a new one if I have to, this is so worth it. So <laughs> I just um, asked her and she was really nice and I told her, I was like, you don't have to take mine, it's fine. <laughs> but um, she was like, she was like, no, I'm sure it's worth something and I was like, oh, but <laughs> gave it to her anyway. <laughs> what was it like playing against her and like, is she someone in particular that you sort of looked up to and would consider to be one of the, the world's best? Um, yeah, she's definitely someone that you know, I watch all the time and I'm like, you know, she's so fast and so good with the ball and her feet is incredible. So she's definitely someone that, you know, I w wish I could play like one day. So yeah, like um, she's amazing. So it was pretty incredible to play against her and chase around the field. What sensation did you guys leave the Ferns Cape with? Like what was the feeling after those two games? Um, I think it was um, really positive. Like I think um, a word that I would use to describe, or two words I'd use to describe, would be like a very courageous and positive um, work. Because, you know, I think going into the tour, a lot of people had things to say about, you know, whether it was the right or wrong thing to do. But I think as a group, we learned so much. Um, and obviously, any chance you get to play the best team in the world, you know, you'd take it, um, whether it be with your full squad or, you know, not your full squad. So, yeah, I think we learned a lot. And I think. Um, the stigma around the team was really good. Like I think everyone was really positive and we stuck together the whole time and we wanted to be like that. Like our goal was to be, to show togetherness and I think that we did that really well. And then hoping to grow next month and, and those few, next few internationals. I mean, what could we, some things we can expect to see from you guys? Um, yeah, definitely. I think, you know, every tour or camp before the World Cup is huge. And I think being able to do that here at home is massive. Like in stadiums that, you know, you're going to play the first World Cup game in and w any World Cup game to be able to do that um, months before the World Cup is like huge. And I think that the team will grow massively. Um, and, you know, there's a big squad fighting for spots in that team. So I think that's also something that's special about, you know, the Ferns is there's lots of girls fighting for for spots, so yeah, I think it's massive, and we're all very close, so yeah, it's nice. And uh, on to Brisbane this weekend, uh, they're below Canberra in the table, how do you assess uh, Brisbane? Um, yeah, I think we just want to carry on the momentum of last game and um, show that, you know, we can go out and we can win games. I think, you know, um, we wanted to prove last week that we could score goals, and I think that we did that, so. Um, and I think it's a huge positive boost for the team. So I think we just want to go out there and just show that it wasn't just a one-off and that we can play like that and we can play like that against any team.